welcome everyone this is saba and today i'm here with a very beautiful flowers so this is a full process video which i'll be sharing with you today so as you can see this is made up of fabric and i have used a cotton fabric which is first processed then it is die cut and then we made flower out of it so i'll be telling you all step by step process that how we need to go ahead and make flower out of it so let's start the process Now here I am taking some die cutouts. So I have used a large peony die from Fantasy Dies, so which we could see on the screen. Now I have taken the die cutout of one size. So basically, if you want a bigger flower, you can take a bigger die cutout. If you want smaller, then smaller die cutout. Now I have taken Distress Ink, which is one lipstick, and my dauber. Now let's start to coloring the petals. So first of all, I will pick up one petal, and I will start coloring from the center. So that is the main thing. You need to start coloring at the center. You just uh, tap it on the color on the ink pad, and just tap at the center of your petal, and just start moving into circle direction. So basically, as you will go to the outer side, you need to make the circle bigger, and then. just smudge some of the color towards the petal just make sure that you don't have to color the entire petal the smudging should go only half way of the each petals so here i am repeating the process again so that it will help you to understand just uh, make sure that you are giving a very light coat should be very light the lighter the flower it will look really pretty now as my all petals are ready i'll start punching all my petals at the center so there is one way if you could use this or if you have this sort of a punching plier then you can use that otherwise if you do not have that then we have another way to do it you just take any pricking tool so which should be sharp at uh, the end and uh, just start pricking it you just put your petal on the perforating pad or any soft surface and start pricking it so make sure that you are pricking at the center of the uh, petal and that's how we will prepare all our petals now let's prepare by the time my fabric uh, making flower fabric flower making tool is getting ready we will prepare with the center part which is the pollen so i have taken a thin wire and i'll take around 5 to 6 pollens i'm using here the thread pollen because it is easy to fold and it actually falls uh, in a very natural way so that gives really a realistic look to your flowers so now just fold it and wrap the wire as i have shown in this video and start twisting it so basically our uh, this wire will work as a needle for inserting this pollen into our petals so this is the way we need to prepare all the pollens either you can make all the pollens uh, ready or else you can just uh, make one by one that's your choice now as my uh, flower making tool is properly uh, heated it's really hot now i have uh, heated it uh, on uh, 240 degree centigrade because it is a cotton so now i am using the groove tool and giving the curve to my petals and that's how you will start giving the curl basically uh, i want this sort of a design so as i will just reverse it i will give design to all my petals then i will turn it and i will then press it at the center
and that's how you need to prepare all your petals now it is as it is ready i will start assembling it so i'll be telling you how to do that now so these are the pollens which we prepared earlier now i will start inserting it in each petals so basically for one flower i am planning to use two layers and that is how you need to insert your uh, pollen into your flowers as i have decided to use uh, only two layers for one flower so i will start um, assembling my another layer now make sure that you are applying glue i am using a fabric glue here but you can also use your hot glue gun you need to be very careful while using it because uh, it is a fabric and then it would be very difficult to take it off if it by mistake it goes here and there once you will uh, putting your second layer just make sure that it is not uh, you know overlapping to each other it should cross and that's how we need to prepare our flowers so i will make one more flower so that uh, it will help you to understand better so we will add the first layer into the uh, pre prepared pollen we'll add glue to make it fix i am using fabric glue here you can use tacky glue or any fast drying glue or if you have precision uh, glue gun then it is better to use glue gun and that will also work very good just be careful that it doesn't touch to your fabric now i will add second layer again it should cross each other it should not be the first layer should not just overlap on uh, the second one okay so that's how our flower will look fully bloomed now coming to adding the uh, glitters so this is rainbow chunky glitter and another is rainbow glitter so i have decided to use two glitters now for rainbow chunky glitters the chunky glitters i will use very little and i have decided to use the rainbow glitter on maximum part of my flowers so that's how you will just uh, take a little amount of glue and take uh, any brush and with very light hand you need to apply it on your petals you have to be very gentle while applying this glue now i will just give a very light touch extremely light touch to the chunky glitter and then i will dip it into the box of rainbow glitter and i'll just shake it so that is my way of adding glitter to flowers other way is you can use it into a funnel tray and you can just sprinkle the glitters on top of the glue on top of your flower so that is how i do it i find it more convenient for me and uh, it actually helps me out to save more of my glitters because the wastage is really less now let's see the same process on another flower i will just add a very little amount of a glue it should be really really gentle and that's how my flowers are ready to so see how beautiful it turned out you can choose any colors if you are not sure about the pollen you can just go and use white pollens that goes with most of the flowers now at the end i will cut out the wire part and that's how my flower is ready i wish you like this entire tutorial Do let me know in comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.